Howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Career Mode. And, fellas, well, well, we just had a great run at Rockingham. It's time to head out to B -B -B Bristol uh, for the Sharpie Professional 250. And Biffle, speaking of which, <laughs> we, we mentioned him in our last episode. He wins the, the cup race there, so that's pretty cool. EA Sports welcomes you to the Bristol Motor Speedway for the running of today's Sharpie Professional 250. At the start of today's race, nearly half of this track's half-mile surface will be taken up by these NASCAR Busch Series race cars. With track space at a minimum here at Bristol, we're sure to see some aggressive driving and our fair share of flared tempers. Here at Bristol, alliances can become grudges and heroes can drop to zeros in an instant. So what soap opera does Bristol have in store for us today? We won't have to wait long to find out. The command to start engines is just moments away. Alrighty, folks, so we smoked them in qualifying. Get this, top three. All three of the Roush cars are top three. This is, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. Hopefully, we can seal the deal and get that dub. Carl Edwards, so close at Rockingham last week, our last race. Hello, Kenseth, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, man. Was that my fault or was that Kenza's fault? I don't know. I know I didn't get a great restart or start of the race, but that was really bad execution on my part or his part. One or the other. I'm going to take the blame for it, but anyways, Edwards was so good at Rockingham. Kyle Busch, the leech, ousted him. But now we're at Bristol, Tennessee, and I don't see that five car. Maybe, maybe he's further back, but we finished second in this race. Last year, to, with a four-star car, to yours truly, Kyle Busch. So, my point is, is that maybe this would be a Roush Kateer field day. And we're inching closer on that number 60, Charter Ford. That was a weird start to the race. Like, we didn't get a great, you know, launch. And then, Kenzif goes full Chastain, right? He goes full Chastain on the bottom. And I'm put in a bind where I got, you know, a car on my outside potentially coming up. And then Kenseth's on the bottom at Bristol. What do you do? But now this is the gamesmanship within the team. Is that Carl Edwards, whether we want to admit it or not, is he's a championship threat. So I want to obviously race him 1,000% cleanly. You know, I want to take care of our teammates. But at the same time... He's, he's going for a championship just like I am. So we need to race each other hard, but we need to race each other clean. So that that is huge. That good team chemistry, but I'm not just going to lay over it and just let him win. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to race him hard, but I'm not, I'm not going to dump him. You know, if this was Kyle Busch in front of me, that's a whole other manufacturer. You know, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's you know, that's a whole other ball game. But when you got a teammate, things are a little bit more uh, technical. I just cannot get Edwards off the bottom. I mean, look at this. We get a run, right? Right? And then we get in the corner. And then I have to lift just to make that because you're having to run a sharper apex. Edwards has got a good piece here. And it, this, is a, this is a perfect example of it's one thing to catch him, but it's another thing to pass him. And again, I want to pass Edwards cleanly. Now, I don't know when he's going to pit. Um, Kenseth's already in. We may or may not see a caution. Pit roads at Bristol has always been glitchy in the EA games, so you have to be mindful of that. That's something you have to be mindful of. Okay, he's going to pit. Uh, I'm not going to stay out and take a chance of running. Oh, out of fuel. We're going to make contact on pit road. That was so stupid. We're going to make a gamble. We're going to go with two tires. We're going to go with two tires. We have to. We lost way too much time there. I am so sorry, Edwards. Fortunately, the damage looks minimal. Maybe a little bit of a, I don't know, more of a change in your pants. I don't even know if the damage registers once you're in the pit road sequence. I'm not sure, but we certainly lost time. Edwards is already away. So he took two tires. We, we took, yeah, we took two tires. Edwards took two tires there. There, there's no way that he took four. There's absolutely no way he took four. Like, we took two... Unless we had the slowest two-tire pit stop, to be honest with you. I wasn't looking at the time. I was distracted. But I took two tires there. And, um... 
we still didn't gain much. And I, I just can't imagine that little squabble was worth eight seconds or something. So, uh, interesting to know. But Edwards is the leader. We are second. Lap down traffic. You never know how that goes. Usually it's pretty forgiving uh, to the race leader. But is there enough time? The delta is 1.4. This is going to be technical. And he's in a perfect uh, area right now. There's not a car egregiously bracing him hard from behind and in front. But I, I think that right front should hold. I really do. If it blows, well, you know what? It, it blows. <laughs> it happens. So if that right front goes, there's nothing I can do about it, guys. I will say, though, if this was like a two-star car, we would have already been in the catch fits because of how loose it would have been. So, even though that red dot underneath the green looks like Christmas colors, so it kind of looks cool, it, it's a little bit concerning because I'm like, is that tire really going to hold? Because <laughs> it is possible to blow tires in these games. It's just extremely unlikely. I mean, it, it takes the longest fuel run known to man to really have uh, tire wear. I wish they would have made the tires blow out easier, in my opinion. Or at least have the option to, because... I, I love mechanical failures. I'm all for more cautions, more mechanical failures. We've gained about four tenths of a second. He was having a little bit of trouble uh, navigating traffic. Now we got Bozo McGee in front of me, but I'm not going to dump him. There's no way we can catch Edwards. Just bring it on home in one piece. The last thing I want to do, make contact, hit the wall, and spin out and lose our, our race. So, you know what? Edwards just smoked him today. He took advantage of it. Of our pit mi miscue. But to give him, you know, got to give him his flowers, so to speak. Because we drove up to him and we could not get by him before the pit stop. And Kyle Busch was in this race. Finished fifth. Like right there, look at that. Bam! Big contact. Bam! Look at all the damage we did to, uh, to Tony Stewart's car. I'm so sorry about that. So that does show that damage does register on pit road. Because you saw the trunk uh, crinkle up on his car. <sighs> we didn't lead a lap either, so that didn't help. But we're still the points leader by... Should be about 50 points, give or take. Where's Kenseth at? I didn't see old Kenseth much after his Ross Chastain move. I feel sorry for him, but... Uh, oh, boy. Ah. Okay, Here, here's the million-dollar question. Is that 35th place finish because of us? Or is that because of him? Because I honestly feel like that's because of him because when he when he had the uh the issue he dropped i think like five spots and then when we had the um you know or when we had the issue with him he dropped like five spots he didn't lose 40 spots unless he spent forever repairing the damage on pit road that'd be the only theory i could think of Look at that. That's good teamwork right there. Me, me and Victory Lane with Carl Edwards after a great race. That is Roush Racing, baby. Wow. So a great race for the Roush Kateers. And, well, we're going to move on to Texas Motor Speedway for some good old uh, one-and-a-half-mile action. After that, we're going to actually go to Phoenix. Going to be a lot of fun. Let's get an updated point standing. So, yeah, around 50 points is the Delta. But, I mean, we're cooking. I mean, we are cooking, and it's not because of double points glitch or anything. I mean, you can you, you just see how inconsistent the rest of the drivers are, right? The, if it was the double points glitch, we would have over 600 points by by now. Just just keeping it real. Um, it's not that. It's just we're that consistent. And that was my problem with J.J. Yaley last year, is that he was not consistent enough for the first half of the season, and then he turned it on. I mean, he went full-on clutch mode. Kenseth, he's not out of the hunt. I believe he can win some races, but Biffle, look at that. The Roush Gateers doing pretty good. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for all your diecast shopping needs, feel free to use a promo code DIECASTBUFFET uh, at Circle B Diecast. You can use it as checkout at checkout and save on shipping. It's kind of perplexed that the, the, the next level 100,000 fans is all like a perfect zero. And I wonder, is the rank 78, like, you're the 78th most popular driver in the sport? I think that's how I look at it, at least. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. 
Have a great one. Diecast Buffet, signing off.